The Super Bowl is almost here. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs will face off on Sunday in the NFL's biggest game. It's the most important day in the sport for the whole year. But it's not just about football. Many would argue that there's another element that's equally as important. It's the commercials. Fox is apparently charging between six and seven million dollars for a 30 second advertising spot in the Super Bowl, according to the variety. To many companies, it's more than worth it. They use this opportunity to push their brands and messaging to the limits. A good Super Bowl commercial has paved the way for a launch, a relaunch, and a rebranding of many companies. There's the 1984 Apple's commercial delivering a message of rebellion when they introduced the Macintosh computer. Who would forget Old Spice? Hilarious, the brilliant, entertaining, pure genius commercial is still talked about, copied, and it's evolving to this day. I'm wearing it right now. Volkswagen managed to make themselves cute with the help of cute Darth Vader using the force. They're the one that's very popular in our office, the Budweiser's puppy love. They managed to tell the odd but lovable friendship between a horse and a pulley in 30 seconds. And it was a total tearjerker. These are just some of the examples of how a brand or product can use 60 seconds and really hit it out of the park. The Super Bowl is the most watched TV event year after year. Last year, over 112 million viewers were estimated to have watched the big game. It was the highest rated championship Super Bowl game since 2017. Many of the ad spots in 2022 were dominated by cryptocurrency companies a trend that likely won't happen this year thanks to FTX and many of the other ones, and I think they're banning them. At least that's what the partial list of the Super Bowl advertisers Forbes published indicated. Although I personally reserve this day for fun and bonding with family and friends, I can't take the investor and the business person out of me. I, I take this opportunity to look at what trend could happen in the future, gain insights into how marketing could change the direction of a company. Old Spice, the man your man could smell like, for example, almost never aired because the brand actually hated it. But the advertising agency behind it, Whedon and Kennedy, had a secret weapon. Research revealed that 60% of body wash purchases were by women, so the commercial was created to talk to them. According to P&G themselves, they were aiming for a 15% increase in sales, but by May of 2010, sales had increased 60% from the previous year. By July, that number was 125%, which is an all-time high for the brand. Shortly after the campaign, they became the top brand for men's body wash. So if you're running a business or investing, it pays to scout the market and know who, who your buyer is. And why not have fun doing it? I hope you all have great plans in place for the Super Bowl, whether it's going to your favorite bar, gathering in your home with friends, family to cheer, laugh, eat, or if you're just relaxing alone in your bedroom, I hope you get to enjoy some good old American football. And I hope your team wins, as long as it's the same as mine. This is Colin Plume, CEO of Noble Gold Investments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already.